To look upon God's creation can be truly awe-inspiring. In today's psalm, David is extolling the wonders of the natural world in all its magnificence. In particular, he considers the sun, which follows its course and brings warmth and light to the world. Yet it's not only the sun, moon and stars that follow their natural course and reveal the glory of God. The whole world of nature follows laws which bring joy and wisdom and understanding. The intricacies of nature from the heavenly bodies to subatomic particles, from the greatest creatures to the tiniest virus, all are able to be pondered. David might not have been able to understand the fullness of these things, yet neither can we. Although we may appreciate the wonder and complexity of a creation that reveals the glory of God. Psalm 19 is for the director of music, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech, they use no words, no sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out in all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In the heavens God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of its chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, Enduring forever, the decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned, in keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Our psalm today makes clear that it's not just the natural order that's important for us. We may understand all knowledge and understand all secrets. We may have all faith needed to move mountains, but if there is no love, there is nothing, Paul tells us. Asked which is the greatest commandment, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength. And then he said, And love your neighbour as yourself. David here in this psalm extols the virtues of the law of God which is perfect and brings refreshment to the soul and joy to the heart. Respect for the law is the way of community and is the foundation of a peaceful society. Paul tells us in Galatians, For the whole law is summed up in one commandment, Love your neighbour as you love yourself. But if you act like wild animals, hurting and harming each other, then watch out, or you will completely destroy one another. The law, summed up in love, is truly more precious than gold and sweeter than honey. But there is no competition between the law of nature and the law of God. Both are established by the Lord, that the world may be complete, and both Declare the glory of God. Our prayer for today. 
Most loving God, we pray for scientists seeking to understand the workings of the universe, and especially those working hard to understand and treat the coronavirus. We pray for medical staff giving of themselves for others. We pray for our governments and those who advise them, and especially for the Prime Minister and all in hospital with COVID-19. We pray for strength and healing. Amen.